Welcome back, Egyptology lovers. Today we're going to do the Pyramidian of Hatshepsut, the famous queen of ancient Egypt. Uh, many of you don't know who she is. She is a very important and reigning queen that uh, occupied as a male. So she dressed up as a male to look and appease the populace um, until her son took over and eventually he ruled after her. And much of her, um, her face and much of her... Um, inscriptions and different scripts that she had done many different uh carvings or buildings she had built had been torn out or ripped off or carved off she's even basically was almost wiped out of history until egyptologists were more thorough and discovered a bit of her later on you can read up more about this queen very famous uh actual true pharaoh in her own right but what we're going to do today is going to read the hieroglyphs uh here you have Hatshepsut sitting down leaning down wearing the kepesh crown the crown of uh the army or the military that means she has power and dominion over the uh, the armies. And this is uh, Amun, of course, with uh, his double uh, plumes on his head, crown. And he is basically putting his two arms as in blessing. And you could see the shape of the arms. This is in order to denote the spirit. He is providing his spirit. This is the symbol for Ka, uh, too. And he's basically bestowing his Ka upon her. And what we're going to do is read the hieroglyphs in Egyptian first. Don't quote me on the language. And then from there, we'll do the uh, the English translation. I'll do my best to make it sound the way I think it does based on the Coptic. But it, there's variations. We don't really know what the language sounds like. So we go from the Coptic. And over here, just a little description. This is a, uh, uh, this is a Shen uh, sign for eternity and also a cartouche is well known. And over here, you have um, a fan feather, which was used to fan uh, someone who... I guess it's a symbol of protection as well. So continuing over here, let's start over here and I'll read that to you in Egyptian and then we'll proceed over to reading it in English and explaining it a little bit of everything. So here we go. Same for formula you've seen in the other videos. So a word spoken by, same thing. So jeded medu in imen re neb pit. D N Nesut or Nesit Taui Yat Tum N Sat Ma et Kare Me Murr S, Anchti, over here now. Sa, Anch, Ha, F, Neb, Mire. All right, so let's read the English. Same formula as you've seen before, starting uh, uh, saying something or expressing something. Uh, you would say word spoken by. So who is actually speaking? Or sometimes they would use the word word said. It'd just be a cobra and then a smaller uh, ser uh, snake like you see over here. If I think I was over here. Yeah, right over there. This, this is the word he. So he said. So this one is word spoken by Amun Re, Lord of the Sky. That's how this is read. So you understand from there. So going forward, we'll continue going. So... He has given royalty to the two earths. His function or of office of a tomb to the daughter. And now you know by daughter that this is a female pharaoh. Though she's dressed as a male, most of the people were illiterate. So they didn't know how to read. Only the, of course, the royalty and the priests and the scribes so as long as the people saw her as a male, that was good enough for them. So continuing. So the office of a tomb of the daughter, and this is her throne name. Uh, you, in these type of inscriptions, and especially on obelisks and temples, you don't put the personal name. You put the royal name. And again, it depends. There's exceptions. But for most of the time, that's what it was. So this is the daughter, and this is her name in a cartouche, in a shen, much like this little shen over here. So, Ma'atkare, the true spirit of Re. And then continuing over here, 
liked lovingly. May she live. Over here now is a protection with a fan as well. So this is a protection offering. So what you have over here is all protection and life behind him. Like Ray. And that is the completion of this uh, transcription over here. So um, that's pretty much it. So this is Amun dedicated to, from the Hatshepsut to Amun and the uh, the offering on top of the Pyramidian. That's just one side. Each side had its own, but this is just one side. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make some more of them. Of course, people like them. So you'll learn a little bit more about the hieroglyphs. Thank you and have a good day.